Do you guys like my shirt? Right now, I'm getting ready for my therapy appointment. I explained in my one year postpartum update video how I had to switch therapists and I just had a really bad experience with my last therapist. So I'm really nervous right now to go to this new place and for some reason right now I feel like I'm doubting my capabilities to get out of my house and go. And the main reason I go, I need therapy is because I have a hard time getting out of my house just on a day to day basis. I just struggle with anxiety. I just like to film and kind of show what happens, what I go through prior to leaving for appointments and stuff. Oh wow, that was way too much. Can you even see how much that was? Most therapists are good and are there to genuinely help you. It doesn't make it any less scary. You can't even see me. So if you're scared to get help, I'm here to validate that. You're not alone. I am on my way there. I just decided I'm gonna power through and go. This is the one life I have to live and why not just give it a shot? What if I find like the therapist of my dreams? So I have been thinking, I do not have the best morning routine. I think that's the thing about being a stay-at-home mom is you don't have a whole lot of structure in your day unless you go out of your way to create it. And I've done a good job at creating the structure once her dad leaves for work because we co-parent. We almost call it like morning shift, evening shift, even though I'm there the entire time. Like I'm literally with my baby 24 seven, um, besides when I'm like pooping. <laughs> but I have a good evening structure once he goes to work and I like have a good nighttime routine with her. Mornings though, I didn't even get a chance to eat breakfast. That's another thing. I, I need to eat breakfast in the mornings and not wait till like noon. If I'm making sure my baby's fed and I'm taking the time to take care of her, I need to take care of myself that way, like take care of yourself the way that you would take care of your child and like how you would keep someone alive. Because right now I'm just failing at it, like would I want my child to go starving all morning and not get in her physical activity? No, I would be neglectful at that appointment, at that appointment. I'd be neglectful at that point, so I need to stop neglecting my own self and my own needs and get better with time management because I'd be lying if I said a good portion of my mornings wasn't spent on social media when I could be doing other stuff. Also, like I used to be really good at journaling before my daughter was born and I'd like document everything in my life. And so much has happened since she was born. And even though I've been documenting it through video, I just think there's something so like helpful about writing out your thoughts and writing out your feelings. There's a feather attached to it. <laughs> when you go to the park with your child and come home with a duck feather. Okay, I'm gonna get going and I'll update y'all about how this therapy appointment went when I'm done. That therapy appointment, this is melted, was a success and I'm very glad that I ended up showing up because I almost didn't, to be honest. I met my therapist and she's really, really nice. She seems very understanding. I'm such an open book though. Like it was the first appointment and I literally exploded my entire life to her. And I was telling her about what happened with my last therapist. She was like, that's unethical. So, so I think that this therapy place will work out great. Um, hopefully. So hungry. What could I get? All right, so I just got back from Martin's and I got Greek yogurt, baby meals, pouches for her. These ones are like Thanksgiving pouches. They're like banana and pumpkin and apple, sweet potato and sweet corn, blueberries, strawberries, more jelly, red raspberry, and eggs. It really does feel like I go to the grocery store like 20,000 times a day. Why does it all of a sudden smell like my daughter just shit her pants in here? I know, I didn't shit my pants in here. Why does it smell like my baby just pooped her pants? Is there like a baby nearby? And now I'm gonna go home and make some breakfast, finally. Those yummy blueberries? <laughs> Say blue. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we were playing on the cheek. She'd come around everywhere she went. Hi. 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 Trying to find me. Open it. Oh, I missed you. I missed you too, kitty. I'm on. still holding on to the chalk. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs>
So I just potted this fall pot. Let's water these. Help mama water them. Good job, baby. Thank you for all your help. Ta-da! So pretty! I'm just really impressed with this rose bush. Look at that. It's gonna grow one all the way up here and that's gonna be so pretty. Hi, I missed you. So I figured one thing that would help with my morning routine is probiotics because they just help in general with like your overall health, like your gut health is where everything starts and if you don't have good gut health, you won't have good mind health and I noticed my gut health postpartum just has not been good. So I went ahead and got feminine health probiotics. I just have this little I'll be happy today pill holder. And hopefully that will like regulate out my gut health, which will in turn regulate my overall mood. And that should just help my morning routine. It will get my poops out faster, you know, all that good stuff. We want to have five star poops. And basically what that is, on a scale of one star to five star. So a five star poop is like you only had to wipe once. You saw some wildlife in the background. It was quick. It was like two to five to ten minutes. It was just one single poop. Not multiple, not diarrhea, not constipation. All together, that makes five stars. So, I think lately I've just been having like two stars. Comment down below what kind of star poops you have. Just kidding, don't do that, please. Thanks for coming to my toilet talk. All right, I'm back. And I journaled, because that's one of the things I want to do to help with my morning routine. And I created a little outline of how I want my morning routine to go from here on out just so that I can like have a goal, a general goal set up. Six to 7 a.m. is when Lila wakes up. Good morning. So after that, I will make coffee, feed the cats, and feed Lila. Mm. <laughs> then I will take my probiotic, my daily vitamin and my morning poop. I will go on my morning walk or on the treadmill for 15 minutes. Good job. All of these are like rough approximate <laughs> times because each day differs. Then I'll get home or get off the treadmill and I'll rinse off or shower. Then I'm going to do my makeup, get dressed, and ready for the day. Then I'm going to make food and eat it because I've already fed her, already fed the cats, can't forget about myself. And then I'm going to spend the remainder of that time. Usually she'll be napping. She'll be in her first nap. So I'll spend the remainder of that time journaling and just trying to spend that time wisely. Hopefully I have a pretty good morning routine in place now. Hi, teething baby. Kissy. Teething. Um. <laughs> Help me up by falling and I can't get up. I'm back with food. Ready to eat, baby? And let me get her something to eat real quick and I'll check back in. Aww. All right, let's try these potato skins. That's her opinion. She just dropped her on the ground. 
My opinion is I wish they put sour cream in here because I forgot sour cream. Ooh, that looks like yummy mac and cheese, huh? She didn't like her steak that I got her. I think it's good. I'm not even a big steak fan. They cooked it perfectly. Ooh, this cheese. We got a Shirley Temple too. I used to get in trouble for doing that at restaurants when I was little. I'm a cool mom. Okay, girl, it's not what you do with water. You drink it. Mm. These cinnamon apples. Mm. You're the cinnamon to my app. You're my cinnamon apple. What is that vine? You're my motherfucking cinnamon apple? I don't know. I think that's what it is. You're my motherfucking cinnamon apple. That's it. She knows it. And she wasn't even alive at the time. Alright, just because this camera's about to die and I want to capture all the food I got on camera, let's try out this brownie real quick. Watch it die right before I take a bite. So there's pecans on it, chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, and vanilla ice cream. You ready for this? So you gotta dip it in each. If you enjoyed watching my mental health and ther <laughs> my mental health and therapy updates, I just fell. <laughs> like my elbow just fell off of here. But anyways, um, then be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You're just so cute. I need good lighting too. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining me on my journey. I am just still in disbelief at how many people have been subscribing recently. I really never thought that people would actually, you know, subscribe to me. So thank you so much. And let me know if you've been liking the shorts I've been filming. I really like filming shorts. I will catch up with you guys in the next video. And yeah. Say, peace out, Girl Scouts. Your banana cookie. <laughs> <laughs>